Good morning, all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> wow. Uh, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. I was born ready. Oh, let's turn, the, let's you turn it up. Turn it up. Okay. All I do is win. because she's 10 years older than me, but I've also had two kids. Because I'm so, 132, you're 122. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I feel like since I've had two kids, it probably, like, evens out. Maybe like, my so. body probably hurts just as much as yours. <laughs> that could be. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I mean, especially since one of my kids is 10 pounds. So yeah. I yeah. feel like yeah. we're even. That's fair. That is fair. But, yeah, so since we're broken... Uh, <laughs> I always think we're like, what are we going to talk about today? And I thought, well, maybe let's just talk about pain. Yeah. Not tea pain. Not is, tea pain. I, we danced to tea pain. That's, that's it. <laughs> um, yeah. So I thought we'd talk about pain. Um, and it's a common thing that we see um, is pain in pets. And, um, you know, talking about the different ways that we deal with that and what things are causing pain and, and all that. Well, so, a lot of times, I don't think that owners really know that their pet is in pain. Why do you think that is? Because they don't show pain the same way that we do. True. Um, and I hear a lot of times people will say, well, they're not crying. Yeah. Or they let me touch it. They don't, they don't crab and moan about it like we do. Right, exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, think about it. In the wild, you can't. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they were crying and fussing, right. you know, they would get eaten. Yes, exactly. Um, so I... I feel like a lot of people don't understand that. Yeah, that our pets work very hard to not show you that they're in pain. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, one of the things that we always kind of laugh at um, are people that come in and their pet is limping. Um, they'll be like, well, he's limping, but he's not painful. I'm like, well, then why do you think that he's not using that leg? Right. Because it doesn't hurt. Not using it. He's not using it because it hurts. It hurts. Yeah. Right. They don't know yeah. that there's something it's not wrong just, with it. It's not they... just like a functional thing that they just physically can't use the leg. It's because it hurts. They don't want to put pressure on it. So that's something that we hear quite frequently. Yeah. Um, and so when we start talking about, you know, how we're going to treat that and what could be going on, you know, that's that's always a little bit of a hurdle, I think. Yeah. It's trying to get, get that understood. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's one thing is, is if your pet's not putting weight on a limb, it hurts. So bring them in. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's something that's an important point too, uh, that we run into quite a bit. We'll get phone calls, you know, oh, my dog hurt itself. Um, what can I give them? There's not really anything that you can give them that's safe. That's over the counter. Um, you know, depending on the situation, we may or may not be able to just get you some pain medications. Um, there's a lot of caveats to that, but um, don't give them ibuprofen. Don't give them Tylenol. For the love of all that's holy, do not give them the aspirin that you bought at the pet store. I don't know why they sell that at the pet stores. Just don't use it. It's, it's not helpful. Um, and usually what happens is people will give that at home and then they'll come see us a couple days later because it's not really helping. Um, and now we're having to do a washout period, meaning stopping those medications before we can start something that actually works. So you've actually just delayed the period of time to get your, get your pet some help. So right. don't, don't do that. I know they sell it in the big bottle. I don't know why. It gives me rage every time I see it. 
Um, just don't buy that stuff. Just You're leave it there. If you if you stop, well, that's true. If you stop buying it, maybe they'll stop carrying it. Doubtful. That would be great. No, yeah, doubtful. I, doubtful. Um, so yeah, so I mean, if it's if it's something that's painful, um, you definitely need to get in contact with your veterinarian um, to find out what what can be done. Um, and a lot of times that does mean coming in, getting them checked out, all that. But well, we want to make sure that there's not something more severe going on right. too. That maybe they need something else. Something different. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Because it can be hard to tell just from a phone call. So mm -hmm. that's why. Um, so conditions that we'll see. So probably like as far as a like a limping sort of situation. A lot of just like muscle strains, um, of course ligament tears. So they get. Um, it's, it's similar to an ACL tear in people, uh, but we call it a CCL tear, it's just some different terminology, but it's basically the same thing. So if you've ever torn your ACL, same sort of idea. Um, those are probably the most common reasons that we see limping. Mm -hmm. Um, they can also get slip discs in their backs. Um, that's more common in the long backed breeds of dogs. We don't see it so much in cats. Yeah. It's really mostly dogs. So the top top few breeds are going to be the dachshund is number one shout out to gabby and her little baby um uh, <laughs> little diego um cocker spaniels are on that list beagles are on that list even though they're not super long backed dogs they're still in the top few breeds that get it so well, they're usually more overweight too well that's fair <laughs> so <laughs> that goes back to that weight discussion yeah <laughs> i feel like that plays some sort of yeah. role in it yeah yeah so um, so there's that. I mean, you can also get broken legs and, and things like that, but um, short of some kind of major traumatic thing that happened, like hit by a car um, or got stomped on or something, we don't see that as often. Um, so those those are some of the more common, I think, like orthopedic type injuries that we'll see, but there's certainly other things that cause pain as well. Um, osteoarthritis is one, I guess that kind of falls into orthopedic too, but it's just kind of happens with age, wear and tear on those joints, just like us. Hi. Hello. Um, and so, yeah, just like us feeling old. I know my back's really hurting, so <laughs> I, I keep moving. I'm like, <laughs> trying to pop my back every five seconds. Um, <sighs> so, yeah, we're just broken. It's fine. Um, we so we do. We need to get some pillows, some nice throw pillows. So our osteoarthritis can happen in both dogs and cats. Uh, hips, elbows, knees, any of those areas can get arthritis. Um, my mom was friends with a lady that she used to call him, call him her friend arthritis. Arthritis? Arthritis. Arthritis. Her friend Arthur. Arthritis. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to laugh. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's something we see as animals age. They do get that as well. Um, and at that point, we'll talk about things. There are things that you can do that are available over the counter. Still not going to be necessarily a miracle or an instant fix, uh, but there's lots of good joint supplements available. I don't know that I've ever had a reason to not put an animal on a joint supplement. Yeah, uh, super safe stuff. And those you can give like kind of preventatively. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, probably just a good idea. Any senior pet. It would be worth putting them on a joint supplement. So what should those supplements include? Uh, glucosamine and chondroitin. Yes. Why? Do you know why? I believe I know. So the chondroitin helps, like, the absorption mm -hmm. of the glucosamine. Yeah, man. See? Look at me. You got this. You know. You know. Um, so the brand that we like, um, there's a manufacturer called Nutramax. Um, they have good stuff. So the reason why we have a preference for brands comes from the regulation or lack of regulation for vitamins and supplements. So just because you buy something over the counter that says it has a thousand milligrams of glucosamine in it, it might, it might not. Uh, there's not a whole lot of oversight, not like um, a lot of the other, like the medications. Um, so when you go buy Advil at the store for yourself and it says it's 200 milligrams, it is. Um, the FDA requires that, but there's no FDA oversight on the supplements. So they can kind of claim whatever the heck they want. Um, you know, even if it's, even if that is actually in there, it doesn't always mean that it absorbs and is useful. Um, so there's a lot of things that go into that. So we tend to recommend Nutramax just because they've got uh, research to back it up that it is both safe and effective. Um, and so does what it says it's supposed to do. 
which is important because you don't want to waste your money on right. just garbage. That's silly. Right. If you go get something, give something that's going to work. So um, brands of that are going to be Cosequin or Dasequin. They have those two for their joint supplements. They also have a fish oil, which can be very helpful. What do the fish oils do? I don't remember. Is it something with like the, exactly. the skin barriers and? So yeah, so yeah, it's useful for skin for like dermatologic issues. Yeah, for skin, uh, but more in Does like it have, a, like lube the joints or I don't I don't really no. Remember. So actually, it just it brings it actually works as an anti-inflammatory. Mm-hmm. Um, and a proper balance of omega threes and omega sixes. Why are we We're both, just old, Tony. old Tony. <laughs> and we've been working too hard. <laughs> Always. Oh yeah. Not, there's nothing. We didn't actually do anything in particular. It's no. not like we went and did like ran a marathon or something. That's crazy talk. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. We're just old. It's you know, you keep fine. saying you're gonna come in and see us too. That's why we're broken. We have broken hearts. That hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Okay, that was corny. Yeah. I think Joni likes corny. Anyway, so the omega fatty acids, which is what is in fish oils, come in both threes and sixes. And so you have to have a proper ratio of that um, will help to decrease inflammation kind of anywhere. So it helps with skin issues, so chronic allergies. Um, it also helps just keep the skin healthier in general. But it also does help with bringing down inflammation in joints so we have arthritis. So it's good for a lot of things. I to be better about taking my fish oils. I've never taken They're sitting on the counter. <laughs> I actually take the Nutrimax brand of fish oils um, myself. Not the one that's made for animals, but they have one that's made for people. It's called Omega Mint. So it's like minty. It's not super fishy. Because you know, I'm, I'm a, so I'm a big baby about taking pills. She is. Like the biggest, you she, know. She just can't do it. 206 years old, do you think I would have learned how to take a pill better? I'm just, it bleh, bleh, makes me want to puke a little, so. She has to take each, like, individual little pill. She thinks it's really funny. It is really um, funny. If you've never seen it, you need to so ask the, her to take something. So they, so they can watch me. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the Omega Mint, actually, because it doesn't taste bad, I just bite the capsule open. And so I don't have to, <laughs> to take the pill. That's, yeah. I don't get anything for saying that. I just, I just like it. It's minty. It's fine. Is it like minty fish though? Eh. Oh, there's gosh. a little bit of like fishy undertone. You don't like fish though. No. Yeah. So you wouldn't want to do that. There's just a little bit of fishy undertone, but it's really not too bad. It's it's mostly minty. It's great hearing his hair floating through the air. Um, so fish oils are a good way to go. Again, something that's pretty safe. About the only time that I would not recommend fish oils for somebody is if you have a pet that has a history of pancreatitis. What is pancreatitis? Inflammation of the pancreas. Yeah. It's when you get, when you make the pancreas really angry. Yeah. And what is, why would we not want to do fish oils for them? Ooh. You know. High in fat? Because high in fat. Yeah. So a lot of the pancreatitis cases... Uh, end up needing low-fat diets long-term, so probably not the greatest idea to put them on a source of fat. <laughs> That's probably not amazing, but um, but anybody else, any dogs or cats, you can do, they can all do fish oils, so that's that's nice. Again, available over-the-counter, same, same things apply, you know, sticking with a brand that um, is reputable is important so that what they say is in there is actually what's in there. Um, it is all do- dosed based on body weight. I've always found that interesting in people. It's just like, here's, here is the adult dose of this. Like, you don't care if it's like a 100-pound well, woman <laughs> versus like a 300-pound man. Like, what? I don't understand that. Yeah. That's some kind of weird voodoo magic that I don't get. Because in, in veterinary medicine, we, we dose everything to weight, pretty much. Which is why it's always so important when you come in. Even if you were here two weeks ago, yeah. we want to weigh your we pet still again. Weigh them. Yeah, we still weigh them again. Not just not because we're trying to like body shame them, <laughs> right? But just because we need to know for for appropriate dosing. We don't want to over or underdose anybody. Right. So, yeah, and that's why too. You know, if you call up and ask for some meds, and we haven't seen your pet in a while, that can be hard because we don't know what they weigh, and maybe maybe it's something that's very sensitive. Um, and needs to be dosed exactly um, so that we don't get any side effects from the medication. So 
That's important. What else is important with regards to pain? The solid. I don't know where you're going with that. <laughs> I mean. That's fair. <laughs> that, that could be anywhere. Nobody does. <laughs> um, so when we send home pain medication. Oh, that's where you're going. Yeah. Give it. Give All it. of it. Give it. We talked about that before. Um, but In one of our just, other videos. Yeah. yeah. Just give the dang pain, pain meds. Do it. Because mm -hmm. I promise you, if, if we sent them home, it's because we think that they're going to be hurting. So give it. As, as was written on the label, there are always directions on the label of what to do. Follow those directions. If you don't remember if, or you don't know, please call us. If you're confused, yeah, exactly. If something's not worded quite right and you're not sure, you're left confused by it, um, just give us a call and verify um, because giving those things less often isn't helping your pet at all. Well, I promise you, they're not going to get addicted. <laughs> not if they get, get addicted, no. They won't be able to get more of themselves. Well, that's true. So, because yeah, you know, that whole issue with the thumbs. They don't have thumbs. That's <laughs> right. The thumbs. <laughs> yeah. They also can't drive on up here themselves. Or like go to the black market. They're not going right. to. They're not finding some. They're not going to get them themselves. They're not on the dark web searching for drugs. I don't that's know. Right. Clearly, I don't do drugs because I don't even know where. <laughs> I don't know what the dark, the dark web is. The dark web sounded like a good, like a good source, but I don't know. It made me think of spiders, and I don't like that. People are going to be like, they're morons. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> um, but, yeah. yeah, just give them their medicine. You know, if mm -hmm. you're not doing them any favors, it's not that your animal is, like, super, you know, hard and they don't need the medication. No, just give it to them. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Whether you think they're painful or not, it's not going to harm them mm -hmm. if they're not in pain. Yeah. So just just give it to them. Yeah, exactly. And cause, because the signs of pain in animals is so subtle, too, especially when it's something other than limping. You know, limping, okay, well, that's that's easy to say. If they're limping, they hurt, period. Um, but other things, so like what if they have horrific dental disease or what if they just got spayed or neutered? Um, there's a lot of other things that... A lot of other conditions that are painful um, that still require pain medication. Right. That we will send home pain medication. And then, you know, like a year later, your dog's limping. And you're like, oh, well, I still have some of that carbrofen left over at home for when when she got spaded. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Why? Well, why, just, why do you have that? Her heads are just like... <laughs> Okay. She shouldn't have any you, left. You shouldn't but, have had any left. But okay. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. But go ahead and just give that now. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. So that's, and those medications, they're cheap enough. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. not like we're talking about $60 or $80 right. worth of medication. Yeah, for like a week's worth of meds. Right. Yeah. No, that's not that much. So, yeah. So just give it to them. Mm -hmm. You know, they can't tell us if they're hurting. Yeah. They can't tell us in so, words. They don't tell us in words. So what are, what are some signs of pain other than limping? Panting. Mm -hmm. Laying around. Yeah. Not really wanting to get up or mm -hmm. be active. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes they don't want to eat. Yeah. Or drink, depending mm -hmm. on what it is that's hurting. Right. Sure. So. Yeah. Those are all, yeah, great examples. So they're very subtle signs. Um, so that's. That's the key, is that it's, it's subtle, and so you're better off assuming, you know, if it's a, if it's a condition that you think would be painful on yourself, um, go ahead and assume that your pet probably hurts from it, too, and, you know, follow the directions on the bottle. <laughs> yeah, no. So, if you go and have some dental work, um, you want pain meds after, right? You had yeah. dental work recently. Yeah. Yeah. I bet yeah. you wanted... So Madville afterwards. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I I take ibuprofen like it's candy anyway, which yeah. I'm not recommending. <laughs> don't do that. But because we're broken, that's what I do. Um, I don't take it because I don't take pills. So much. <laughs> I have a I liquid just cap. Suffer. You just, like... I just need the children's variety. <laughs> it's a whole bottle worth at a time, but it's fine. It's okay. She just puts it in her coffee. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, yeah, it's actually what's in here. <laughs> probably. But I mean, yeah, I dental pain is one of the worst in mm -hmm. my opinion. Yeah, like it's awful. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness I have an uncle that's a dentist. But 
yeah, I have really bad teeth. Mm-hmm. So, yes, Good they hurt. Teeth. Give give the medicine. Give the medicine. Anything else that we need to say about pain? Um, I mean, no, other than just the obvious. If you think they're painful, get them some medical attention. Yeah. Because I would hate to be just sitting at home in pain for days or weeks mm-hmm. at a time. Yeah. So at least call someone, see if there's anything you can do. I mean, like we had talked about, there's nothing really over the counter that you can give that's mm-hmm. safe. But if they hurt, take them somewhere. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of people call and say, well, they've been limping for a couple days, but, you know, we thought maybe it would go away. Yeah. Well, there's some easy things that we can do to get them feeling better, mm-hmm. you know? Or the ones that have been hurting for a few weeks, it's like, ooh, like I'm, yeah. If it's if it's more than like a day or so, and they're still they're still limping, it's it's time to get them seen, right? Get some get some care, right? 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 All right. Well, that's all I have for today. I think that's all you have for today. Mm-hmm. You got anything else? Nope. Okay. Then you go take some more pain meds. Probably. <laughs> I actually haven't taken anything today. Well, that's so good. yeah, that's good. All right, well, you guys have a great week, and we'll see you next week. Bye.